What is up my good people? My name is Pixel Love and we are back again with another episode of Mother 3. In the last episode, we went through a whole bunch of BS over there in Chimera Lab. And all of a sudden, I'm told that I need to go back there because supposedly there's something that Doria needs for to take out the needle. Yeah. No, to help us move the pond water cuz in that pond is the needle. Now then, a whole a what? How? Uh, oh, this goddamn iron swan got in my way. What the hell? I was right. I was right behind the other guy. Oh, bro, where did that fish come from? Why? Who thought it was a good idea to just fuck around with nature over here? Oh, God damn it, Salsa, you're useless. Hey, Doc. Sorry, Doc. Can't go to you right now. I need this hot springs. Yes, hot springs. Thank you very much. You know, something that I also realized before I started recording was that I actually have a lot of crap for Lucas and Boney, but I don't actually have that much stuff for Salsa. Not only that, but he's still rocking equipment from Chapter 3, which is Dog! Not Boney Dog, but you get the idea. He needs better equipment. I need to help my boy Salsa. So I forgot, what the hell is up here? Uh, actually, no, 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 don't bother with that, don't bother with that. I just need to get some equipment for Salsa, and then I'll figure it out later. That does not look good. It looks like the animals escaped from the lab over here. That red one, it jumped right through this fence and escaped. Oh, are you kidding me? The red chimera is out there? Oh lad, I thank you for earlier. What's that? You're looking for a way to transfer all of the water from one pond to another? Hmm, well I can't help you lad, toodles! Those eyes of yours lad, are the eyes of someone who's taken on some sort of mission. Very well, I'll lend you a helping hand. Achoo! Uh, behold! I brought several of the chimeras I've been developing in secret. Take whichever one you'll think will be most useful to you. Uh, just one moment, Doc. I will be right there with you. Let me just help my boy Salsa. Never mind! I can't actually buy anything for him. That's great! I love that! Alright, Doc. You said... I chimera that I'll help whatever. Hmm. What's good, Chief? Those are the Bucket Brothers. They're the result of combining cutting edge dough technology with claimant technology. These fellows are exceptionally hard workers. Are you certain this is what you want? What about this? That's a dry guy. It's the latest model dry dryer chimera and it utilizes an air intake system and a jet engine. You can dry anything in mere moments, even long hair, afros, panties, and Asian beauties. Are you certain this is what you want? Or what about what about this guy over here? Ah, that one, huh? That's a rather ho hum chimera, known as a pump chimera. It's an extraordinarily ordinary creature that's Really only useful when you need to transfer something from one place to another, such as pond water. Uh, no, I'm going with the Bucket Brothers, you know? <laughs> There's something about them that I, I, I just feel it. I just feel it. Those guys are going to help me a lot. Alright, boys. Get to working. Oh yes, here we are. This is all of our pond water dilemma. I just know it. Yes sir, that's what I like to see. Work being done. Oh look, they're trying so hard. Yeah, keep at it a little more. Come on now. I mean, they're still doing work, you know? Like, I, I can't be wrong- I can't be wrong at thinking that they'll finish this eventually. 
Come on now, Kumatora. <laughs> you can't be yawning over here. Yes, keep going even more. Trust me on this one. Trust me. These guys are going to be great. <laughs> oh no. Ammonia and Salsa, even Kumatora. Come on now. Very, what do you mean very little was accomplished? What do you mean? Oh, what? Are, are, is that it? They're just gonna go? I bet those kids could have managed it had we kept it going for a whole year straight. Or maybe not. That's a bit of a pity. Oh, fine. Fine, we'll go with the we'll go with this big one over here. The dry guy. The latest model dryer chimera. I get it. Don't worry, he's just gonna blow all the water away. Just trust me on this one. Dry guy! Dry guy! <laughs> dry gang! Oh yes, here we are. This will solve our prawn water dilemma. I just know it. Alright, come on boy. Uh, what? Oh, look at him dry. He's just drying away. Look, trust me. Trust me, this will work. This will work eventually. Just trust me on this. We're not gonna have a repeat of what we did last time, alright? I don't wanna see, I don't wanna hear any yawns. Alright? I see you over there, Kumatora. You're yawning already. Trust me, this dry guy is gonna dry the absolute shit out of this pond. Just trust me. Trust me! Yeah, the dry guy is not doing so hot right now. Um, I mean, he's still drying, you know? Like, he, he's, he's drying very hard. I unironically think the Bucket Brothers would have been better than dry guy over here. No offense to him. I mean, he looks very lost. I'm sorry, my guy. Maybe the dry gang's not for us today. Today must not be your lucky day. That's too bad. Yeah, no kidding. Fine, Doc. I'll choose the lame one. Ah, that one, huh? That's a rather humho chimera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One place or another, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I will get the uninteresting thing, unfortunately. You know, I thought the Bucket Brothers would be able to help me, help me with this, but apparently they didn't. Ooh, yes, here we are. This will solve our pond water dilemma. Yada, yada, yada. All right, my boy. Would you look at that? Progress! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, look at him suck up the water. Oh, oh my god. What am I watching? This is wrong on so many levels. Yeah, uh... I, I'm not gonna... I, I'm just... No, no. Everything about this! Everything about this is just a, a big old fat no. There it is. That's the needle. One of the seven needles sealing the dragon away. Alright, needle in check. So what am I supposed to do? Just pull it? Alright, come on Lucas. It's time to S Excalibur or whatever. This is... Wait a minute, if I pull the needle, that means Doria will be gone, right? Can I really pull this needle, like Ionia said? I'm not sure if I should be afraid or happy. A rush of emotions is overcoming me. I can't believe I'm here, witnessing this moment. And another. Alright. Oh, well, what are we waiting for? Okay, now pull it! With all your might! Right before my very eyes! If the needle gets pulled, you'll, will you disappear like Aeolia did? I don't think he thought this through. Yes, that's right. 
because the needle won't need my protection anymore. The needle can only be pulled when the time comes. So when the needle is finally is pulled, the time has come. We my gypsies have lived our lives so that we can happily accept that fate when it comes. So don't worry, I'm not going to die. I'm simply going to follow fate and disappear. So it will be a happy thing. I do have many fond memories though. So it will be a little sad too. Yes, let's just pull the needle. I feel like Lucas might just fumble the bag and not be able to pull this needle. Oh shit, is that a Deltarune reference? Oh, would you look at that? I pulled the needle. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't look good at all. Uh, have all the other six needles been pulled? That does not look good at all. That looks pretty evil. And uh, very malevolent. Or however you call it. Let's just stop it. Just go disappear right now. Fuck off. Something awoke inside Lucas. EK Love Beta. Ooh, nice. Yeah, no, 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 no. Just fuck off. Fuck off. Never once imagined someone would show up at a tender. Oh, get out of here! It is very, it is bliss that you will be gone in about this instant right now, right? Fine, I'll take the stupid memento. Oh my, your inventory's full. Wait a minute! Don't tell me I just no memento. No memento. Are you are you kidding me here, right? Please don't tell me this is how the chapter ends. Eonia told me this a long time ago. When the dark dragon that's sleeping under the island wakes up, all life and all time will be reborn. Yeah, so what now? Where's Duster? That's the better question. Where the hell is Duster? I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna see things through the end. Lucas, can I come along with you? I want to go with you. We have to hurry and find Duster and the Egg of Light too. I mean, yeah, please join because I would very much would like to have somebody who's able to use fire, ice, and thunder. Salsa, we just met again after all this time, but it looks like this is goodbye again. Yep, bye Salsa. Goodbye. Goodbye! What's with that look? You're such a sentimental monkey. Let's go. Let's get to the next needle. Can I at least pick up the memento first? You and Love Monkey can take care now. Aw, poor Salsa. Huh? What is it? I'm gonna tell me he wants to join us. A nut. For me? Oh, so she's able to get a nub, but not me or Boney can get the memento! Alright, you know what? Maybe it's good that I didn't get the memento at all. Oh, <laughs> Good monkey. Alright now. What now? What do we do now? Alright, uh... Needle, 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 needle. I'm gonna assume the needle is the west of here. Wait a minute. Did I actually pick it up? No, I didn't! Asshole! I can't go back in there, right? Oh, I can. Give me a moment. Hurry up! That's where I thought it was. Thank you very much for the memento. Alright, now I just need to make sure that nobody dies. Because apparently that's what that's what happens with the memento. Somebody dies, you just get revived. All right, buckos. What the hell? Squeak, squeak! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it right there. Just where do you think you're going? The squeaks. Who the hell do you think you are? Go to hell! Go to hell, buddy! That's what I thought! 
Why the, why the fuck do you think you can run into me and think that you're the hot shit? Humbly apologize for my rude, egotistical attitude despite being so weak. Back on the highway, I was known as the hippest cat around. Now I'm just a pathetic excuse of a mouse. Yeah, no kidding. All the girls dug me, but I'm definitely no fighter. But you help me remember who I really am. One of my wife and seven kids I left. Dog. You're the one with the wife and seven kids? Really? Yes, please go the go back now. Go back now. But watch out for the mole crickets if you keep going east. Is that where I'm supposed to go? East? But east is where the um Thunder Tower is. Yeah, east is Thunder Tower and then the factory, highway. Why would I want to go east? Would I not want to go west? Oh, there goes Doc as well. I just realized these magic gloves. I should really give them the Kumatora right now, so she could equip them on. My God, look at that! Not only do I get ten more magic, but I also get offense. Let's go, baby! Hey, fuck you, horse. Really? There's nothing here out west. Only this one present. What's in here then? A magic tart? I risk my life over here just for one goddamn magic tart? Fine, I guess I'll go east then. As long as I don't have to deal with these assholes again. Uh, excuse me? Who the hell are you? Mixed gender bath thing. Where the hell did you come in from? What the hell? I just wanted to get over here just to fix everything. Uh, just just to feel more relaxed. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just not say anything for the time being, you know? And then this lady shows up out of nowhere. Excuse me? Where the hell did you come from? Whoa, whoa, whoa! So you kept true to your promise and finally came to the mole cricket hole, huh? It's me, it's me! Don't you recognize me? I'm the mole cricket you fought at Alex's place when you were play fighting with the Dragos as a little kid. I've been training all this day for all these years. Let's go. The time to battle has come. What the hell? I mean, I remember. God damn it. I remember all this talk about the mole cricket that he did up until episode one, but. Why are you here now? That's a better question. And where are you taking me to? Mole Cricket Hill? I've already been to this place, buddy. Where the hell is this? <laughs> here it is. This is where you and me are gonna fight it out. This is my. This is where my right hand will be raised into the air when I'm declared a winner. This is also where you're gonna get hit on the ground with a thud. This is the place. Mole Cricket Hole. I'll widen a hole. A bit for you to fit through. Come on. Ah, uh, what the hell? Something insignificant read here, but because it's insignificant, you didn't read it. Cool. Where am I, anyways? Oh, this is. Yeah, I see it. All right. This is where Duster got the uh, egg. So where the hell have I seen this place before? Hmm, this oddly looks eerily familiar. Something that looks like a lotus root is blocking the path. All right, I'm guessing I'm not supposed to go there. What, buddy? We're mole crickets. We dig holes and we live in them. I'm exceptionally proud. Where the hell am I supposed to go then? Well, here's a hot springs. Glad to know that you guys have a hot springs. Let's see here, lotus roof, lotus roof. Roof. Root! Not a roof! God damn it. Alright, Elder Cricket. Oh, glad to see you didn't wimp out on me. This here's our Elder. I asked him to be the judge for our match today. If you try to run away or do any cheat, neither of us will sit by quietly. Just so you know. Anyways, I've got special rules for our match. If by some chance an outcome isn't reached after 10 minutes have passed, we'll go to overtime, which will last 5 more minutes. And if a conclusion still isn't reached after that, our elder will decide who the winner is. Elder, is there anything you'd like to add? Wait, you folks are truly seriously going to fight him? Take my advice. 
Sometimes the bravest thing to do is to run away. But you insist on it? In that case, I won't stop it. You see, e even the elder's telling you to fuck off. The bell has rung. Alright. Alright, bucko. Alright. Three years and all- and this is all you've given me? With two experiences as well? That's enough! That's enough! We give up! To think that such a mighty mole cricket warrior could have been so easily defeated. Perhaps mole crickets aren't so powerful after all. I'll meditate on what else this means at a later time. But for now, the match is over. I suppose the traditional thing to do now is be on good terms with you. So let's be friends. Is there anything you need? Actually, yeah. Do you know where the needles sealing away the dark dragon are? We're looking for them. I bet you he's like, what the fuck? We mole crickets aren't very knowledgeable creatures. But call it a hunch. But I think there could be a, a clue to these mysterious objects on a mountain on the far east of this mole cricket hill. I figure that's what the elder wants to say too. He's hard to read sometimes though. Yes, I agree. The mountain. Go through this mole cricket hole and head up the mountain. I'm certain that's what you must do. The mountain. I don't have any leads to follow up on there, so let's check it out. Hey, you guys don't know anything about the dark dragon itself, do you? Sadly, we don't. We really just are mole crickets. Even though he's our elder, he's just a mole cricket too. We have no real strength at all. It's a pity. The very least we can do is help you by eating the lotus roots and blocking your way and other things like that. Wow, a dragon! I bet it's really incredible! Must be incredible indeed. I've learned so much today. A dragon that sleeps underground, needles that seal it away, us being surprisingly weak. Living a long life is worth it. Ask them a gypsies. Maybe they would say it's worth it. You suppose you could tell us mole crickets about even more things? Sure, I'll tell you something. Please raise us to be great. Start off, I'm thinking about starting a business in our own unique mole cricket way. Please stop by if you ever happen to see us. Yeah, if you're gonna go through this mole cricket hole, you should take my little bro with you. He's little, but he's a tough one. Treat him like any other item. Item? My brother in Christ, my inventory is pretty full. If you get lost in a small cricket hill, just ask my little bro for help and he'll bring you straight back here. Right, little bro? Come on, bro, get your act together. Bad news is it's kinda lame and he hates the sunlight more than anything else in the world. So, be careful. You can't take him with you outside the mall cricket hole. Right, little bro? Alright, so you said you have a shop? Shop, shop, hello, no shop. You said you wanted to make a business, hello? Thank you very much for eating these lotus roots. Anyways, where the hell am I supposed to go? Here, I'll give you this unbelievably accurate yet helpful map. Wow, thank you! I actually appreciate that! Oh my fucking god. You're kidding me here! What the... What the hell have you... Have you guys been doing all this time? Oh my lord! Save your game? Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So apparently there's a mole cricket that looks just like a frog. Alright. I don't know what I hate more. The fact that... The fact that these mole cricket holes are so big or the fact that this is all multi-layer! Meaning I cannot tell! Which which of these paths are on what floor? Like, look at this! I'm just in a dead end right over here! Alright, you know what? Just being in this mole hole, mole cricket hole for the past five minutes and whatnot is already giving me AIDS. Not only that, but my throat is straining a little bit. Um, I also don't want the power to go out in case another storm decides to come over here. And sorry if this was on a little bit of a shorter side, but you know, I'll make do with what I have. Anyways, my name is Fixa Love. If you enjoyed this, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share it with all your friends and whatnot. Memento Mori, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.
Take care, everybody.